dear students now we are going to discuss about hyperland this is a etsi standard okay and hyperland stands for high performance radio local area network and the transmission medium used here is radio waves okay and some features are given range mobility traffic bit rate and frequency range then types hyperland 1 2 3 and 4 hyperland 3 is now called as hyper access and hyperland 4 is recently called as hyperlink okay so now we are going to see about hyperland 1 uh, so the tra data transfer rate is given frequency range is given so some special features what are the special features forwarding mechanisms okay so Uh, forwarding mechanism is the ability to forward data packets by using several uh, relay setups okay then topology discovery user data encryption network identification power conservation mechanisms okay so in terms of power conservation it uses some wake up patterns it means only when the node is ready to receive the data by the time only it wakes up so the other time it will be in the sleeping mode so in such a way it saves some power okay so for uh, this purpose uh, we call these nodes as p savers that means power savers along with the p supporters okay so uh, you just remember these two uh, terms p savers and p supporters okay um, then eynpma eynpma is uh, uh, defined as a heart of the channel access of hyperland 1 okay so it provides some channel access scheme to hyperland 1 uh, okay so some uh, phases are given these phases are given by this ep eynpma okay so what are the phases uh, prioritization phase contention phase and transmission phase so in prioritization phase it determines the highest priority of a data packet okay so it uh, uh, finds uh, which data packet has the highest priority and in contention mode uh, in contention phase what it does is it eliminates all other contenders and keeps only one um, node okay so uh, see uh, in the network so many nodes can have highest priority so it eliminates all other highest priority nodes and keeping only one in the final then the transmission this is the third phase of this uh, channel access scheme so in this uh, phase the transmit transmission uh, for all other nodes that means the remaining nodes can take place okay uh, so these are the three phases prioritization contention and transmission Uh, okay then uh, let's see something in detail so in the prioritization phase it has some slot kind of thing okay so it's starting from slot 0 and slot 4 so it starts uh, slot 0 to slot 4 so slot 0 is considered as the highest priority and slot 4 is considered as a lowest priority okay uh, see this diagram see this is the channel access scheme of hyperland 1 uh, see you could see all the uh, three phases in this diagram uh, prioritization contention and data transmission okay so this contention phase has two phases in between okay what is that elimination phase and yield phase okay so these two phases will be coming under contention phase only so prioritization Uh, hyperland offers five priorities that is slot 0 to slot 4 um, then slot 0 uh, is considered as the highest one and slot 4 is considered as the lowest one okay so the main objective of this prioritization phase is uh, to reduce the lowest priority nodes okay so the lowest priority nodes should not get access whereas the highest priority nodes are waiting okay so the slot duration is 168 high rate bit periods okay so then the contention uh, contention it has uh, uh, two phases in it elimination phase and yield phase okay so you just remember these two words elimination bursting and elimination survival verification okay you just remember these two words they are, these are very important okay so each contenting node sends elimination burst okay according to the probabilities what it does contention node first of all some uh, nodes can be prioritized and in the contention phase uh, these nodes are now coming into uh, place so now in the contention place this contending node sends the elimination burst to 
according to the probabilities okay see this is the probability of elimination uh, so uh, see this uh, equation probability of elimination p of n okay so why it varies from 0 to 12 as the length of individual elimination burst is 0 to 12 okay so the contenting node listens to the medium during elimination survival verification okay so uh, in the contention node in the phase la survey pananu na adu enna pananu media the listen pananu and the channel la listen pananu so and the channel eppa vandu and the channel eppa idle ah irukku appadina adu find panudho appa mattum dhaan and the node vandu survey panna mudiyum okay otherwise the node will get eliminated okay then the yield phase yield phase what it does it completes the work of elimination and yielding only one node in the final okay then the uh, last one transmission phase uh, so what it does all other remaining nodes okay can start their transmission in this phase okay so these are the three phases guys thank you